When you think of Madison Fire and Rescue, what do you think we do? We put out fires. What else? Put out fires. True, but we do much more than that. The majority of our calls are medical emergencies. When someone calls 911 because they're injured or very sick, Madison Fire and Rescue rush paramedics to the scene. With our advanced training and life-saving technology, we're the first responders in homes and on the streets. Mobile technology helps us to move fast. As soon as we leave the station, our Geographic Information System, or GIS, shows a map of where we're going, the quickest route, and where we'll find the closest fire hydrants. It also shows us the layout of major buildings, so we're ready to go inside as soon as we arrive. This is our heavy rescue or technical rescue team. When a building collapses in a tornado, we use special cameras to look inside. Other team members build braces to hold up the roof so responders can search safely in the debris. Whether someone's stuck in a confined space like a pipe or a crushed car, the heavy rescue team has the tools and experience to get people out safely. When tornadoes and hurricanes have wrecked havoc in other parts of Alabama, the State Emergency Management Agency calls Madison Fire and Rescue. They know this team has the experience to help people anywhere. The best fire protection is fire prevention. The number one cause of fires here and across the country happens when people cooking at the stove leave it unattended or fall asleep. It happens at all hours of the day and night. Keep your eyes on whatever you're cooking. Beyond your home, we protect where you eat, shop, and work. At least once a year, sometimes more, our fire inspectors visit every business, church, and school in town. We're making sure fire extinguishers and alarms are current and active. We test exit signs, emergency lights, and sprinkler systems. Here's a fire hazard we run into, a tangled spaghetti of extension cords running all over the place, handling heavier electrical loads than they were designed for. Don't do this. Ask a licensed electrician to fix your wiring so it's safe. Fire inspectors make sure people safely store flammables like chemicals, paper, or clothing. Keep those things far away from any heat source. Always keep exit doors clear so people can get out and firefighters can get in. Everyone's seen a fire extinguisher, but if you never use one, we provide free training with no mess to clean up. You read in the news about CPR training and how someone, maybe you, saves a life. Madison Fire and Rescue teaches CPR classes here at station number one and to students at the high schools. The results are impressive. You have twice as good a chance of surviving a heart attack in Madison than you would in other parts of the country because so many people here know CPR. It doesn't have to be an emergency for you to stop by and see us. We'll check your child's safety seat to be sure they're set up right and working properly. Madison Fire and Rescue is here to serve people, providing dynamic, diverse, and relevant life safety services. Have you ever saved a cat up in a tree? Sure have, and their owners were pretty happy. We've even rescued adults who climbed too high in a tree. Trying to see if they're a cat? Nope, they just climbed too high up in the tree. Okay, two choices, a ladder or the jump net? The net! Jump, 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 jump! The ladder. Jump, jump, jump.